good afternoon. It's Thursday, December 12th, weigh-in day. If you haven't seen my weigh-in video yet, I did lose. Uh, so go and watch that. Uh, also, I told you in that video that as of today, I switched back to the blue plan. Uh, my head just wasn't in the green game. <laughs> I had to... Uh, reevaluate what plan really fits into the way I'm living my life and I think blue plan is it it was working for me and uh, since I tried to make the switch to green even though I believe green would work just as well as blue I think that uh, those 23 points keep me better in line than 30 points a day it's a mental thing so now, even though I did lose, and I was losing ever so slightly on green, and most of that ever so slightly was because I was not doing honest tracking, I was not doing consistent tracking. So, uh, like Weight Watchers says, no plan works better than the other plan. No plan is better for weight loss than any other plan. On WW, anyway. But you need to choose the plan that's right for you. And I think right now the blue plan is right for me. So, that being said, I am going to the grocery store a little bit later. I'm uh, on my way to get my hair trimmed up. I need to get all these dead ends off so that my hair will lay a little bit better. And then I'm going to go back to my place. And uh, straighten things up a little bit. in two of my choirs. I do know that. Anyway, uh, got that going on tonight, but I looked on the app for Max and Irma's and there's plenty of stuff that I can choose from that's not going to put me over my points. So, as I was sitting uh, on my couch this morning drinking my coffee, I had a cup called Cup of Joe that my daughter gave me and I thought, alright, so I'm here and I'm going to share some memories with Joe. And you know how the Elf on the Shelf is such a big thing now, or maybe it's not so big as what it was, but my kids didn't have the Elf on the Shelf. They had Sam the Elf. Now you couldn't see Sam the Elf because he, he would hide and he would only appear when the kids were misbehaving and then he would report back to Santa. So during the Christmas season, all I had to do was tell my kids that Sam the Elf was watching and ready to report back to Santa and they would straighten right up. Not that they were bad kids anyway, but, but just, you know, when they started getting a little bit out of control, Sam the Elf was there always and they couldn't see him because as soon as they did something bad, they were, Sam the Elf was off back to Santa. So I had Sam the Elf in my house, my sister had Sam the Elf in her house. And um, the other thing was that whenever my kids weren't being truthful with me, and I actually think one of my kids still believes this, um, a red light that only moms could see would flash on top of their head. And so I would tell them, you know, when they were trying to tell me a tale, oh, that red light is flashing. And they would kind of grin then. They knew they got caught. So, one year, you know, my kids were, were just like any other kids. They wanted to get into their presents early. So, one year, I kept the presents in the basement. And, you know, I could tell if the kids were trying to get into it. And I thought one year I was going to fix them. So, well, I did this a couple years actually. One year I would wrap the present. First, I would wrap it in uh, tin foil, aluminum foil. I'd wrap it in aluminum foil. Then I would put one layer of wrapping paper on, 
and then I put another layer of wrapping paper on to make it a little bit more difficult and I taped every seam shut as well as I could oh after I put the aluminum foil on I put duct tape on the package so there was no way they were getting into it and then one year I used fake names usually in a different language so they had no idea who the presents were for once they got under the tree so I would do things like that anything in my power to make it difficult for them to um, get into things so they still talk about that <laughs> about how the year that I put uh, I, I think I put all the pr Christmas names in Spanish one year and just I just made up names you know but uh, yeah they didn't know who any, who any of the gifts were for so it kind of deterred them from getting into things Aaron was the worst he, he would try to I mean he would shake and try to figure out everything before Christmas but that one year that I wrapped everything in duct tape I got he he uh, he didn't make have any success so and other things that made Christmas special at my house when I was growing up and I do the same thing and I might have told you this before my mom made Hungarian pastries and it's like when I would smell that Hungarian bread baking and Hungarian cookies baking it was Christmas now I'm gonna make that this year but I'm gonna make it for my co-workers I'm gonna make make them in mini loaves I'm gonna make them for my co-workers probably next week on my day off and uh, those will be my gifts Actually, I'm going to make some to send to my son in Oklahoma and my daughter in Idaho. So, uh, today when I get home, I do have to order a couple gifts online. I'm going to do that today so that they get delivered in time. And uh, then a couple things I'll pick up locally here for the kids up here. So, uh, I'm, I am, I think, 80% done with shopping for Christmas. Now I just got to get the baking done. Oh, here's in the, after I get my hair cut, I want to go over here and stop here and get the grave blankets. So I have to remember to do that because I don't know when another time is I'm going to be able to do it. So, and I'm sure that my husband wouldn't mind if I didn't do it one year, but I would mind. So, he never wanted to talk about dying or what his plans wanted to be, you know, what he wanted his plans, his final arrangements to be, you know, he never wanted to talk about the cemetery or anything like that, upkeep of the graves. So he was convinced he was going to live till he was 120. That's what he told everybody live till it's 100, 120. I think the last couple of weeks there before he died though he knew his time was up. He did make a couple of phone calls and tell people that. Um, he told my one son that. My oldest son. He didn't tell me that. He didn't want me to worry or get upset. Anyway, I'm going to try to get through this holiday without being sad, but here's my dilemma. I still am sad on the inside. And nothing can stop me from being sad, but I'm not as sad as I used to be. And maybe it's just because, you know, now I'm used to him being gone. I'm not as sad and I'm kind of feeling guilty because I'm not as sad. I don't know. Think about that for a minute. I don't know. Maybe I just really need help. So, 
Anyway, I'm moving on from that right now because I don't want to get sad just thinking about it. I am going to get my hair trimmed because it really needs it. My This hair is down in my eyes and I cannot stand it. And plus, my hair won't do anything, but, you know, I have to embrace the straight, you know. So I ate breakfast this morning. Let me show you now what I ate for breakfast. Right, today is weigh-in day, Thursday. I did have a loss, and I'll tell you about that. Or probably, I've already told you. I made the decision today to switch back to the blue plan. So for breakfast, these are blue points now. I made French toast. Uh, these are two slices of my Nichols uh, 35 calorie bread for two points. I have five grams of butter for two points. And then this syrup is the Great Value Sugar-Free Maple Syrup. Uh, 30 milliliters um, is one point. So uh, five points for my French toast. My uh, one egg and two egg whites are zero. <laughs> my banana is zero. <coughs> and I have two points in my coffee. So seven smart points on the blue plan this morning. Well, I got quite a bit trimmed off my hair. I will go home after I go to the grocery store and then I'll fix it the way I want to fix it. Great clips, you know, they don't do a whole lot with it unless you ask them to. And I'll just go home and fix it the way I want it to. But the guy that uh, did my hair, I like I like the way he cuts my hair. So got the dead ends off and it feels better. So now I'm heading to Kroger's. I did get a gift card while I was there for a present that I'm gonna give. That's it. Well, not it. I still have to buy a few more presents, but you know, kind of spread it out. <laughs> I'm only spending so much out of this paycheck, and then when I get my social security check, I'll spend a little bit more. Uh, because I gotta buy Christmas dinner with my check from my social security. I don't get paid from Walmart till the day after Christmas. So, and I got to find out exactly who's coming for Christmas dinner. So, and I usually have everybody over Christmas Eve too. So we'll see. I'm not going to probably go all out the way I usually do because, uh, first of all, I don't have all that money to spend. And second of all, I have so much food left over and the kids don't like to take the leftovers. So, I mean, I still have turkey left over from Thanksgiving that I need to eat up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. People are so impatient. That guy actually ran a red light and then he was yelling at somebody for being in his way. I'm over by Walmart. I'm not going anywhere near the store. I mean, I'm gonna go past the store here. I'm curious to see how busy they are today. But only because it's on the way to Kroger. Well, they got quite a bit of people in there today. I'm glad I'm not there. I might end up there later today because like I said, I gotta use up my, I have a discount card I need to use by the end of tomorrow. And I work tomorrow, so usually after I, leave work I don't feel like shopping so I just hate going in there on my day off so I don't normally unless I actually have to so well I'm gonna come to Kroger's I'm coming to Kroger's here to load up like on vegetables and fruit and uh, my fat-free cottage cheese, which I wanted to have for lunch today. So, I mean, things have changed now that I get some of my zero-point foods back after switching plans. Doesn't mean I can eat more of them. 
because we still have to watch our portion sizes, you know. No matter how many free foods there, now they're not really free because you still have to portion it out. That's what the problem was with freestyle when it first came out. It gave people too much freedom and they didn't understand that zero points did not mean zero calories, which is why I track now both calories and points because it just helps me stay focused. So I'm gonna go into Kroger. First things first though, I'm gonna use the restroom. Kroger's looks kind of busy today for a Thursday, 1.30 in the afternoon. Hmm. Doesn't anybody ever stay home anymore? I'll go down here, see what I can find. All right, I will uh, put up a, I will show you what I get at Kroger. Um, when I'm done shopping or when I get home. So, I forgot to bring my bag with me, darn it. But, oh well. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. All right, I'm having kind of a late lunch here. Um, I have uh, shrimp for zero points. This is on the blue plan now. Oh. Where we go? There we go. Uh, I picked up some shrimp at the store. And uh, zero points on the blue plan. I have um, some cocktail sauce. The cocktail sauce is actually three points. And then I have a half a cup of fat-free cottage cheese for one point. And then just some tricolor tomatoes for zero points. So a four-point lunch. This takes me up to 11 points today. I have 12 points left for dinner. Well, I'm back from dinner. I did not record it. Um, kind of just forgot about it. I was, you know, talking to uh, Austin and just kind of forgot about recording my dinner. But um, I had the grilled salmon. I couldn't find it in the app. I think it's a new dish. So I found something similar from another restaurant that I tracked. It tracked at four points. Um, the calorie count was similar too. So I tracked four points for the salmon and I had an order of their steamed, it, well, it says steamed buttered broccoli, but there was no butter on this broccoli at all. It was just steamed. And then I got a side salad, uh, with no dressing that was in the app. That was also f four points. So, or was it? Yeah, four points. So, uh, dinner came out to be 11 points. I have one point left. And like, remember, I changed to the blue plan, so these are smart points. Uh, I have 22 out of 23 smart points. I haven't synced my Fitbit yet. I don't know what my calories are burned yet. I know I've been up and down the stairs quite a few times. So I get my Fitbit on. I have eight flights of stairs. Uh, only 2.2 miles today. Well, it says I burned almost 1,700 calories. So I have to figure out all my calories yet. After I had lunch, I think I had about 700. So we'll see what my calorie count says. But uh, I did okay today on, on, on the blue plan. I'm going to fix my breakfast for tomorrow <laughs> before I go to bed. And I'm going to get my lunch together. I work 8 to 5 tomorrow, so I'm not going to need to take a dinner with me. I am, uh, I don't know what happened to my calendar. Oh, here it is. I think I, sorry. I think I pretty much work 8 to 5 uh, until next week. Let me look. Not that you care, but let's see. Today's the 12th. Oh, Monday I have a 1 to 10 shift. But I'm at 8 to 5 tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. 1 to 10 on Monday, then I'm off on Tuesday. But I still have to be up early Tuesday because I have an 8 o'clock nail appointment. And then I'm off on Wednesday. No, I'm not. I work 1 to 10 on Wednesday, and then I'm off again on Thursday. So... 
Yeah, I have a couple of those stupid 1 to 10 shifts. I don't like them, but it's only once in a while, so I'm not complaining. Uh, anyway, uh, I work 8 to 5 tomorrow, so I don't have to take a dinner. I'm just going to, I'm going to take a lunch. I'm going to pack, I think, a pretty hefty lunch because where I've been running in, into trouble is when I'm, I'm not eating enough at lunchtime. And then by the end of the day, I'm really hungry. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack like a bigger lunch. And then for my uh, afternoon break, it should be about two and a half hours before I eat dinner. I think I'm going to take some yogurt with me, some Greek yogurt to get me uh, some good protein because a cup of that has like 20 grams of protein. And um, since I'm on Blue Plan now, it's not going to cost me any points. So I might throw some granola in it just to bulk it up a little bit, but uh, I'm going to think on that for a few minutes, and then I'm going to get stuff prepared for tomorrow. Then tomorrow night, um, I actually think I'm going to have a steak tomorrow night. It sounds incredibly good to me right now. I have one in the freezer that I think I'm going to get out and, and unthaw. And actually, the steak's big enough where I, I'll cook it, and then I'll probably freeze part of that because uh, it's too much food. It's it's more than one serving. You know, and that's one thing that I, I you know, I'm going to be mindful of because on Blue Plan it uh, you know, you have to count your uh, I was, I'm looking here for something. You have to count your uh, portion sizes. Because, you know, you can't let those uh, free foods run away from you on any plan. But I found that especially true on the on uh, Smart Points. Or on Freestyle, I mean. So I got a card today in, in the mail from one of my subscribers. This comes from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. From Brandy Marks. And she's just a card. Merry Christmas. And it's a picture of her and her family. Love Ed, Brandy, Aaron, Abby, Hickory, and Georgia Marks. And there it is. Thank you so much, Brandy. I love getting Christmas cards. Thank you for that. I'm going to add that to my collection. I'm going to hang them all my cards up. Um. I was thinking about my arch there, but I think I'm going to do it someplace else in the house. But I'd like to have them displayed so people can look at them when they come in. Not that anybody comes to visit me, <laughs> other than my kids. But it's still nice to have. So I got my hair cut today. And I did put the, the uh, hair straightener to it after I got home. But he took quite a bit off, actually. I told him to take the dead ends off, so there must have been quite a bit. And to shape it up a little bit. Of course, it looks like, you know, crap right now because I just took the dog out. And I had a hat on. <laughs> so I've had hat, hat hair right now. So, Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up for me today. I just want to tell you I had a really good, successful day on the blue plan, which I'm calling freestyle because that's what it is. So uh, I'm glad that I'm not the only. I've gotten a couple comments today that other people have gone back to the blue plan also. I'm glad I'm not the only one. And, uh, you know, if it's not broken, why fix it? So I was successful on it before, and I'm going to stay successful on this one. I feel already more in control. I don't know why I couldn't wrap my head around that green plan, because, especially because I was on it before. But uh, there was one subscriber, and I forget who it was. I'm so bad at names lately. Um, that commented, just because something worked before doesn't mean it will work now. And I got to thinking, you're right, you know, why stress out about this? When And I'm going to go back to what I know was working two months ago. So that's what I'm going to do. I mean, that's what I started today. As soon as I logged my weight in, I switched over to the blue plan. So... And if you haven't watched my uh, weigh-in video, I did lose 0.3. I'm hoping for a bigger loss next week. Um, I'd like to get a you know a couple good weeks in here before my day after Christmas weigh-in. So, 
I will talk to you tomorrow and uh, I will record tonight what I'm fixing for breakfast and for lunch so I can show it to you tomorrow. Um, that it just seems to help me when I'm recording my food and telling you immediately what I'm having. It helps me stay honest. It helps me make sure I'm, I have everything tracked. So thank you. Okay, have a good night, guys.